All right, hello folks. Uh, since we released this newer model of the SDK300P, one of the questions we've, we've been getting on occasion is whether or not uh, you could, it's advisable to use a bigger substrate than, let's say, the one inch by three inch uh, glass slides uh, this, the spin coder was designed for. And our answer is, has always been that for substrates of size, you know, four, five, six inches or bigger, then go with a commercial unit that's specifically designed for substrate that size. You will certainly get better results. That said, usually the commercial units that are designed to handle these size substrates often cost uh, in the thousands of dollars. So, you know, some folks just want to say, answer the question, is it worth even investing in such a spin coder? And the way to answer that is that they want to make use of one of these, um, one of our kits. Uh, as such, we decided, okay, let's see what modifications would need to be made and how well this thing would handle a uh, bigger substrate. And um, obviously the first issue you're going to run into is uh, that the chamber, you can't, you can't fit a six inch um, you know, substrate in there. That's a relatively easy to uh easy to fix however um all you really got to do is get one of these um disposable or meal prep food bowls uh, this one is from rubbermaid and um you know replace this one with that which is really easy because these uh you could you could cut the holes out uh, relatively easy if you, if you have access to machine shop even with just a handheld drill and a hole saw that could be done all right, so that's issue number one. Second problem, though, is uh, the O-ring that's on there is really designed for, like I said, a glass slide. So putting a bigger O-ring on would definitely have to be, uh, would it be advisable as well. We are the results of when we made these modifications and what we saw, but, you know, trying to use this uh, six inch uh, silicone wafer with one of our spin coder units. First modification we did was to use the, um, the bigger chamber, or you know, in this case, the uh, disposable food bowl or meal prep bowl. And that allows up to a six inch um, substrate to be pl placed in there. And the good thing about these um, meal prep bowls is that, you know, you get a nice handy cover that snaps closed really tight. And again, they're very easy to machine, so not really a big deal. And secondly, we modified the chuck that's on there to hold uh, this about a two inch size uh, O-ring instead. And let's give it a spin and see what the issues are when you try to use big, a bigger substrate. So first challenge with these big substrates on this is just the fact this aligning it. Uh, Again, if you have a commercial unit designed for this size substrates, you will get special tools to help you align it. And aligning this uh, substrate this size is very important because if you don't align it um, correctly, like really center it, you're gonna get a lot of vibration. Okay, that alignment looks uh, to be as best as uh, I wanna get it today. Let's turn the vacuum on. So on there pretty tight and let's uh, just set it to let's see 1300 and see what happens now pay attention to the RPM and one of the things with using these big samples is that the motor in there uh, doesn't really have sufficient uh, torque to really get to the set speed quickly so again, if that's not an if, if you don't really care about that and you just want to get up to speed and coat, that's fine. But again, the quality of the films may depend on that. And another thing again is the uh, top speed. Uh, we would definitely not recommend going above. Uh, I would say you know three thousand. I mean, you can hear you can hear the vibration now, right? Obviously, it's possible to use these uh, larger size substrates with these uh, minor modifications. However, if you know you're going to need these big substrates for to produce high quality films or certain in a production system, then we would definitely recommend getting a commercial unit built for this size substrate. 
if you just want to establish proof of concept and to see whether or not it's worth moving on to get a, a commercial spring quarter, then yes, you may consider it.